Hello and welcome to Teacher Rahullah's channel. Dear learners, I had solved the exercise which belonged to numbers to 1000 about a month ago. And there were some confusions for some teacher about the numbers to 1000 or a number 1 to 1000 strip. I had considered the numbers 1 to 100. So the strip was made from 1 to 100, then 101 to 200. 201, 2, 3. This is how I considered in previous video. But you can consider numbers to 1000 or the 1000 number strip this way also. You can write down as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You stop at 10. Then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. If we continue, and the last row is 991, 992, up to 1000. Up to 1000. In this case, between the first row and the second row, there is a difference of 10. In question number one, it says, here is the last row of 100 square. Write the numbers in the next row, which is the first row of a 101 to 200 square. So we can write 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, and 100. This is a hundred square, a hundred square, which starts at one and ends at 10. And the last one is 91 and ends at 100, which is giving us a square. In question number two, it says, complete these pieces from a one to thousand number strip. So these two, let me scroll a bit down. Okay, to complete these three pieces, we will use this one to thousand number strip so if 112 is here so above 112 we will have 102 and to the left of 112 we will have 111 to the right we have 113 and under 112 we have 122 we are done with part a in part b we have 201 201 is over here then we will have 211, 212, and 230. In part C, we have 132 in the center. So to the left of it is 131. And to the right of it is 133. Above 132, we have 122. And below 132, we have 140. 142. So in this case, the difference between each number and a column is 10. The difference between each number and a column is 10, not 100. Because if we consider 1 to 100, so we can have a difference of 100. If we write the number 1 to 1000 strip, we can make it this way also. 1 to 10, 11 to 20, then 21 to 30, 31 to 40, and so on. Let's now move down to question number six. In question number six, it says, write the numbers in the next row of a one to thousand number strip. In this case also, if this is 351, so under it will be 361, 362, 363. 364, 365, 366, 367, 368, 369, and 370. Because we consider 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, and so on. We are done with question 6. Let's now move to question 10. In question 10 also there was a confusion. Again, we consider the same number strip that we wrote 
beside question number one and question number two. So in this piece, in the first piece, we have 500. So under 500, we will have 510, 520, 519, 518, 517, and above 517, we will have 507. And above 507, we will have 497. Then here, 498, 499, 500. 507, 508, 509, and 510. In the next piece, we have 899 in the center. To the left of 899, we will have 898. And to the right of 899, we will have 900. So above 900, we will have 890. Above 890, we will have 880. And below 900, we will have 910. Then 920. And above 898, we will have 888. And above 888, we will have 878. And below 898, we will have 908. And below 908, we will have 908. This is how we can use numbers 1 to 1000 strip that we consider as 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, and then coming down 991 to 1000. This is how the number strip is formed. But in the previous video, I had considered numbers 1 to 1,000 as 1 to 100, 101 to 200, 201 to 300. This way also we can make the number strip 1 to 1,000, but this made some of the teachers confused. So we can consider 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30. In this case, between each row, there is a difference of 10. Between 1 and 11, there is a difference of 10. Between 11 and 21, there is a difference of 10. This is how we can solve the number 1 to 1000 strip. I hope this time it makes sense for you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share the video with your students, your friends, and also your classmates. Have a nice time and thank you so much.